Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about your desk setup when you're working from home. Uh, this is something that people are having to do a little bit more right now and there's an ideal, we'll kind of cover on that today as well as a few sort of adaptations because in reality your desk probably isn't set up and you don't have all the equipment to work from home effectively but in this video hopefully we'll give you some good ideas and some good pointers uh, to work around. So if you come with me, Joe sat over here uh, at his desk. So we've got a nice supporting chair, we're not using a bean bag or anything like that. Uh, we've got maybe a dining chair or if you do have an office chair you want to use that don't be working in bed or on the sofa or anything like that we've got the keyboard the mouse and the screen straight in front of him it's not twisted to one side yes you could argue this screen's a touch lower than it should be uh, so we can prop that up a touch for him so that the center of the screen is a little bit more eye level use something like the yellow pages if, if they still exist um, and then uh, the one criticism about this particular setup for Joe, most people may not have a, a, a wheelie chair, is that if Joe had a fixed chair and he wanted to use that monitor to the right hand side, he's going to have to twist his back and this is going to give him a bit of cramping coming up here. Joe, how long would you manage realistically doing that for? Well, not long, five minutes. Yeah. It's, it's going to be uncomfortable, it's putting a lot of torsion through the back. Your back doesn't like that when it's sat down, so instead he's got the wheelie chair so he can just spin around, work on one screen and then spin back. So if you do have the luxury of one of these sorts of chairs and you've got that sort of setup using multiple monitors, then spin or alternatively have them next to one another so that they're more in front of you rather than off to the side. So that's sort of the main pointers on this one. Now a lot of people at home will be working with uh, maybe not that, that, that efficient setup, so we're gonna need to maybe use something else. And this is where we can use the kitchen counter, those sorts of things. Joe's gonna run ahead and set up on our kitchen counter, but it's important to be proactive. You might not be able to get the best setup like that perhaps, but it's about making the best of a bad situation. So using the kitchen work surfaces or kitchen tables, if you've got one of those sort of um, sort of breakfast bar type kitchens where the, the, the surface is a little bit higher, can work really well. So if you come into our kitchen table, so this isn't an actual kitchen table, but we'll use it for the purposes of demonstration. Uh, now, it's a little bit higher. This is better than sort of any other variation where you've got the slightly higher than normal work surfaces. You can have your, your, your equipment set up on there so you can work from there. Yes, there are some critique points with this one. He's going to be looking down a little bit more, but you've got eye muscles. So look down with your eye muscles rather than crouching over like so. It's going to be a lot better for you. Having a slightly higher desk is kind of some sort of hybrid standing desk. You might find this a little bit more comfortable in the kitchen, but it's a lot more effective. There are some other strategies with this that really will help you at home. If you don't have an appropriate height kitchen surface or worktop surface and you don't have a desk, the best thing you can do is move. So if you're taking phone calls, for example, have ear pods or, or earphones that you can have in to take those phone calls, you're probably going to have to have to communicate with staff members. So taking those phone calls and walking up and down or walking around the house will be really important for you. So you can keep that, that, those, those muscles moving keep that body flowing and have a much more effective time at work. Because if you've got back pain and you're trying to work from home, it's just gonna make things very miserable. So use these little tips. Set up correctly where you can, like we did in the other room. Eye level, Joe's essentially in the same posture if we just took his, took his legs out compared to, to, compared to how he was in the other room. So we've got a nice straight back, good posture. That's really important. If we can get a higher stool in the kitchen that allows you to make uh, make it a little bit more comfortable for you, then you can go down into that sort of pretend, say you've got a little uh, little high chair there, the Joe can sit on it, makes it a little bit more ergonomic, and then just move. Take regular breaks from, from the work that you're doing, get on the phone if you need to call colleagues that are also at home, and that way you can just move around a little bit more and have a much more pleasant time at home. Just be flexible, don't get stuck in one position at any time, and that's really all you can do from a point of view of working from home. So, hope you guys have found this video helpful. Uh, and the demo is reasonably interesting and uh, we look forward to seeing you on future videos.